everyone. Welcome to our channel. We're going to be doing a product review today on a Black & Decker food processor. So the one I purchased, I purchased it at Ollie's, which is in the States. It's uh, And I bought it for $19.99. And this is a 3-in-1 easy assembly. It is a 8-cup work bowl. It says it's set and go. It chops, mix, shred, slice, and more. It has a 450 watt motor and it's also dishwasher safe. I'm going to be opening it up and then I'll tell you what it includes. Then I'll, I'll wash it and then I'm going to show you how it's going to work. I'm preparing a traditional Easter treat and I thought it would be a great idea to use this instead of uh, cutting everything by hand. So let's open it up and see what's in here. All right. Oh, we have a few pieces here. So we have the base, the main base, which the motor is inside. So it's nice and sleek. It's great for a countertop. It doesn't take a lot of room. So this is the, the base, and then this is the, the portion that does all of the cutting. So we have, oh there we go, so I'm just lining the handle portion up, there's a little slot here, and I'm just going to line it there, and then I believe it is set. So again, it's nice and sleek, it's great size for my counter. And it comes with the comes with a blade. It also comes with inside a few of the parts that just blades and cuts up the base. And this part goes on top for shredding. And then this is the protector. So I believe the part up here is if you want to slice and dice vegetables. And then I believe the bottom, you could take this part out. And then just put your items in there and then it will cut it up. But I'm going to wash it and then I'm going to go over the instructions and then give you a demonstration on how it works. I have now washed my Black & Decker food processor and I went over the instructions which I found was uh, quite easy and easy to understand. Uh, so let's go. Um, so I want to verify that this is a shredder and what you would do is you would set it on the um, settings that you would want your vegetables to be sliced. So we have like a grater. This one would do it in larger uh, thin slices and so then that would just go into the top here and then you would just set it uh, and this would be the area where you would set it to there's an arrow that's just on the handle part right there so that's where you would set um, the, uh, the shredder on what type of shredding you want to complete I'm not going to be doing the shredder today but I am going to be using um, the lower base of it. I have some nuts here that I'd like to break up into some smaller pieces. So the way that this is put in is we have the blade at the bottom. You would just rest it into the holder. This just goes in as so. And this doesn't have to move or turn anyway. It just locks in uh, when you place it in. And we're going to put some almonds in there and start off with in there and then what you would do is you would set the lid onto the the top of the cylinder and you would have to make sure that it snaps in lock there is a spring that's just inside the handle and it pushes it down and I believe that is the safety feature 
so that it knows not to pop open so that um, you don't hurt yourself while you're using it. Now it has a low speed, it has a high speed, it has a pulse, and then the off button. So if we just want to try the pulse, and it just breaks it up nicely. Now if you wanted to leave it on, you just press low. and then off. If you want it on high, and then off. And there we go, we have them nice, quickly done. You don't have to do them by, by hand. And it broke the nuts up quite nice. Now you can choose the texture that you want. I'm doing a filling for a pastry, so this is a nice um, blend of a size. And uh, I found this quite easy to use, and I'm quite satisfied with it. Now, if there was only one change that I would suggest, is making a longer cord. It comes with a cord, but it's quite small. It doesn't have a, uh, if you don't have a plug close by, it's going to be, uh, you're going to have to find the right space for it on your counter. So that would be one recommendation I would suggest, and if any change would be made to this uh, machine, is the cord itself. But... It's quite nice. It's easy. It uh, does the job. It does it quicker than if I was to do it by hand. And the price was perfect. It was only $19.99 American dollars. I'm from Canada, so I'm quite happy because sometimes machines like this in Canada could go for over $50, sometimes $100. So um, for $20, bucks, i am satisfied, and I hope you like this video. If you want to see more like this, either on our product review or on our traveling or food reviews, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Hit that share, like, and that bell notification. Until next time, thank you.